Hello all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here. And it is day nine here on planet 26. We are working away for the Intergalactic Mining and Salvage Company. And so we're starting to get the base set up. Uh, we've actually got a small refinery and production set up that's doing iron and stone coming in. And we've actually got it set up also to uh, utilize the excess gravel. And so it is being processed as it uh, gets the excess gravel in there. So today's mission is we've got to go find some magnesium. Because of all of these ember fighting docking stations and our processing and and transports that keep going around uh, I think we're living on borrowed time again I think as long as we're not interfering with them they'll kind of leave us alone for now but I don't know how long that's gonna last so we've got to go get some magnesium but the first thing we've got to do is motor down here to uh, and, and pick up a little more cobalt. I am very low on that. We can manage to get nickel and silicon out of stone, so that's fine, but we don't have much in the way of cobalt. So I think what I'm going to do is go down here and just mine a little, hand mine a little bit of cobalt. And then uh, when we come back, after we have our get our mission of finding the magnesium and getting something set up to where it's processing that, uh, we can then uh, start working on uh, getting a uh, uh, mine set up for the cobalt. So let's uh, head on down there. We'll take the parking brake off. And then we'll kind of back up. All right. All right. So I think we should be able to get down into the cobalt field without irritating the MBR. Because it's just right down here. And we'll still be a little over, well over two miles away from the uh, ore processing plant. So we'll get down here and uh, grab some of this ore. And we should actually be able to get into the ore before we actually even get to the marker. Yeah, I can start to see the, the ore field up here. Okay, we're, yeah, we're just going to do a little bit of hand drilling here, just on the edge. All right, let's just park this thing right here. And let's hop out. Oh, I know what I need to do. Let's uh, unload some of this stuff. I don't need to carry that. Okay, let's go get some cobalt. Okay. 
And it should. There we go. 34, 33, 32. Why don't we just do it right here? Let's uh, get down. Alright, well, you guys probably don't want to watch me uh, drill cobalt, so I am going to uh, get this get the cobalt and once I'm ready and uh, heading on to or getting ready to head out for the uh, magnesium I'll uh, catch back up with you all at that point all right well I got my cobalt and I am on my way so what we're trying to find first there is a gold field somewhere out over here and I might have come across it when we were originally coming in and I think that gold field is right out over here so we want to find it because uh, that'll be our first mark of what we need where we need to go and I think uh, I suppose I should turn on the ore detector. And we're going to mark this gold field. And it should be right somewhere over here I think I guess I should take it a little bit easy with this thing and I think I see spots on the ground. So we want to get over here and we want to mark this gold because that's going to be kind of a navigational point for us. Because we know where the uranium is. So we'll be able to use this as a kind of a compass point. There it is. Okay, gold. Yep. All right, let's get up here. And let's uh, stop this thing. All right. Uh, GPS. New from current. And this is what the market field gold. Okay. So now I need to, let's see. Uh, the uranium is that way. I think I need to keep heading on this direction that I am. And we should come up over a bit of a hill and there should be a small lake down over there so let's uh, let's see if we can find it I think I think if we go up over through here because what we're looking for is a small lake and then there's a stream that's coming out of it That's one thing, once you find a, a resource, you've got plenty of it. You're not gonna have to hunt for it anymore. But they're so spread, spread out, like we found with the uh, nickel and the silicon. Okay, when I uh, get to this lake, you can kind of see where we're heading. When I get to the lake, I will uh, catch back up with you all.
All right, I think I have found that lake. So let's see here. And I, so I think we need to just kind of go across the lake and we should hit a river. So let's do that. Let's go across the lake over here. Take it out of park. And then we need to follow this river down which will come down into what appears to be a larger river. And I think we should hit a little peninsula, that sort of thing. So hopefully we're not going to run into too much more with the em Ember uh, Mining Company. So I think, yeah, I think this is the outlet to the lake. It's too bad there wasn't more resources up here. But that's part of the challenge, right? Finding these resources. Now I have, I think I have another spot. Once we get down to the magnesium, and I think from there when we have a chance then we will have an opportunity to maybe go find some nickel because it'll be along the shoreline that I'm seeing I think once we start hitting the big uh, bodies of water so as it looks like I can see that we are on the, the river heading out so so far so good today so I tell you what as I get a little farther along here once I get uh, closer to the magnesium, uh, I'll catch back up with you. Okay, I think I've hit that other body of water. It's not very big, but it is considerably different. I got water going off both directions here. And I think I need to start crossing over here. Now, we should get through here. Iron. I shouldn't have hit any iron. I don't see that onto the map. Uh... Well, we're going to go ahead and mark it. Oh, it's an iron rock. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about it. That's what was confusing me. I wasn't expecting to find that. Okay. I think we got to get through this patch of trees here. And we're going to have to take some of them out. Now, we should have hit another body of water. And I see that there. I'm not sure if that's the one I'm looking for, though. Well, we'll just keep clearing these trees out. Kind of gives you an idea of what I've got to deal with here. Okay. I 
think I need to... Well, we're going to get up to this ridge up here. Oh boy. That is one thing. you got to deal with all these trees. That's kind of slowing things down a little bit. Get up to the top. So far we haven't really run into, other than the trees, we haven't really run into too much problems here. But I want to get up to the top up here and s see what we can see. Park it right here. Let's see if we can get a better view of. Ah, uh, there's that water going out through there. I think the magnesium is over into those mountains, so. I think I know what I'm going to do. I want to get over to the edge of these trees and then we're going to set up a ore detector. Not your not your normal ore detector. We've got enough materials that we can build uh, uh, an ore sensor and see if we can't locate the magnesium field. So uh, let me uh, get back down here back in and uh, I'll tell you what once I get over to the edge of the trees over there and I get ready to set up the uh, ore sensor I'll uh, catch back up with you all okay I think I somehow managed to stumble onto the magnesium uh, I was thinking it was a little farther away, but, uh, I mean, we are far enough. We're about 25 kilometers away from where the base is, so uh, it's not something that we can just pipeline it in. I think I'm going to have to set up some sort of uh, central location here. What I might do is, well, I'm going to build a resource node here so it can be mining magnesium and I'll probably do some hand mining as well so let's uh, let's get out of the seat here and let's just kind of walk around out there and just see all right so we've got magnesium here it appears to be all over in here Let's see, let's go out this way. We should pick up more. Yeah, here we go. We're picking up more this way. Thirty-eight, thirty-seven, thirty-six, thirty. I don't think that's so deep that uh, we can't set up a resource node right here. I think I am going to mark it right here. Uh, let's uh, do this. Uh, just a second here. Yes. Making a couple of notes. Okay, uh, let's go GPS, new from current, and we're going to call this 
M. Uh, Mag. Magnesium. M is for mine, magnesium, obviously. So we've got this spot marked. Uh, let's, uh, I don't know if we can clear a little bit of this out. Let's see what happens here. Well, it doesn't look like we can clear the grass out. I was hoping that we could get some of that grass cleared out of there, but... Ah, boy, they're just setting up everywhere. I go somewhere and they just jump right in there. So, all right. Uh, let's run over here. Let's pull the rover a little bit closer. Uh, and then uh, let's see if we can't get... Uh, get a uh, uh, magnesium mine going so so yeah so we've kind of accomplished what's going on here uh, must be the angle okay so let's take this out of park let's back it up just a little bit And let's see if we can kind of level it out somewhat. That's not too bad. It's probably why I was having a problem getting in. Let's go ahead and take this tree out. And let's park it right here. Okay. I think this looks pretty good. All right, I tell you what, once I get uh, a little bit more established on there, we get the, uh, I get the uh, resource node kind of set up and make some progress on it, I'll catch back up with you all. All right, well, as you can see, I've got the uh, resource node uh, cranking away, and I was just in the process of taking down my scaffolding. I've got my three wind turbines going up there so let's get this scaffolding down and the other thing that I want to do here so I've got to set up uh, some storage containers of course I'm have to drill stone so I can get uh, nickel I think nickel is going to be the bane of me but I think that will be the next uh, phase that we do is find and set up a nickel mine and then since these are so far away I'm going to have to set up or create some sort of machine that I can I might be able to uh, pipeline this into kind of a central location out here uh, I've got some nickel and uh, a silicon field that's not all that far away but I got mountains in between so I might have to set up a single place for the nickel and silicon which uh, I know where that's at that I think that I'll be able to find without too much difficulty uh, and then we can set that up and then uh, create a uh, flying uh, machine that will allow me to fly over here a lot easier than trying to drive the uh, uh, planet rover. So uh, my next step now is let me go ahead and get a containment facility. But as you can see, uh, we are already got quite a bit of uh, magnesium. Let me go ahead and grab some of that and we'll just take it and start throwing it into the hopper here this way we can start uh, making ammo 
and then we can start setting up some base defenses. So actually, uh, oh, he must have got all that cobalt done. Or he's not quite got the cobalt done, but he's still working away on it. And that gives us enough cobalt now for a while as well. So this is going to give us magnesium. So let me uh, let me go ahead and finish getting my uh, containment or my cargo cargo bin set up, and I'm going to probably build a large one. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, just uh, make connectors coming over. Uh, I'm going to set up a just a large cargo bin here. And then uh, this way I can just let this kind of keep uh, cranking away. So, all right, I will uh, catch back up with you when I have the cargo uh, installation in and uh, when we are about ready to head back for base I think so uh, yeah let me uh, catch up with you here in a little bit all right well I don't have my uh, container built yet but I got this Aquila Strike Corvette that is appearing to come in overhead. I've turned my turret on just in case and uh, hoping that uh, it stays far enough away because uh, it looks like it's coming right straight over me and I'm just worried that it might be a little too close. And if it did, I didn't want you guys to miss watching me die. So we'll just kind of keep an eye on that here while I am uh, finishing this up. Uh, I think what I do want to do, though, is... Uh, oh, shoot. I uh, covered up my... I was going to turn this thing off, but... Well, let me get, uh, what What do I have left? I was getting ready to go ahead and build these out. And then I got to grab some more stone. I think he's going to pass by me. Just wasn't sure, though. Yeah, I think he's going to pass by me. All right. Well, just I just wanted to bring you guys into the fold just in case. I will uh, catch back up with you once I get this uh, container built. And we're about ready to start heading back. Uh, catch up with you in a little bit. All right, all you space engineers out there. I think, at least for now, I have my magnesium mine <clears throat> set up and running. Uh, I've already grabbed some magnesium out of there. Uh, I've got a large industrial cargo container, and I also got a connector set up. So once I get uh, a flying machine going, I'll be able to bring it over here and pick up the magnesium. We've got the power, we've got this working away, so it's going to just continue to store. Let's go ahead and grab what we've got, and I'll actually finish unloading all of this, uh, but I wanted to give you an update, and I think we're going to call the video good right here. Uh, we've got, uh, got magnesium. That was what our main function was today we found the gold field we've got it marked on the map and we've got magnesium so i am going to head back to base and in the next episode you'll see me at base all right all you space engineers out there if you like this video please hit the thumbs up on it it really helps the video out a lot and please subscribe that really helps the channel all right with that commander kingfish is out of here and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.